Welcome to the cleaning video. This video is going to be a basic outline of some of the main cleaning instructions to keep the Hedonesia community running nice and smoothly. This is the laundry zone. Now we have a few different things that we do here. We have the laundry, which is a wonderful brand new one. We realize buying new stuff is better sometimes for eco-efficiency. So it's got the, um, the dial here. This is the turning on. This is for your setting to normal. Over here is the only other one that you need to uh, touch right here. Uh, and that's to set it to tap cold because we only do cold water washing. Then you put your clothes inside. We use something very unique at Edenesia. They're called Eco Nuts. And with Eco Nuts, basically, we use these little bags. We usually throw about two or three of them inside with the laundry. And then these are the eco nuts. They're actually a South American nut that creates soap and actually does a great job of cleaning clothes. So we buy them by bulk at the uh, health food store and we use uh, little baggies of them in the laundry. Since we've been doing this, it's cut down our messiness before with liquid detergent and powder detergent. There was always a soapy mess here. Now it's clean efficient and way way eco-friendly because our laundry drains out to an area where we have decorative plants but this is an eco-efficient laundry that uses less water and with using these we've got pretty much almost natural water coming out to the plants out, out, outside and so it works out really well um, we do have storage of some of the cleaning supplies. When we're washing rags, this is a Dr. Brahma's bottle, but we actually take old soap and we put it in the head, put, put extra water, and we use that in the soap powder section when we're doing things like washing the rags, because we use a lot of rags here. We don't use uh, paper towels. We use rags for everything, and then we just keep washing those, and that's, um, we found that to be way more uh, eco-friendly than the uh, paper towel system. So um, we've got the cleaning stuff here and toilet paper. When cleaning the toilet, we could keep that in this barrel right now. We've got a whole supply of them. They're all in here. And uh, that's what we use for the toilet. Over in the toilet, I'll show you where that is. We got the little, the fish tank. We try to make sure that this is clean. This is the mosquito eating fish in here. So we always try to make sure there's not too many weeds or water lilies growing on top. And in the, the toilet paper for the toilet, we try to make sure that there's three in storage and uh, fresh ones there. So I'm going to have to put two more up there in the barrel. We also have a little uh, section for feminine products and we always keep a supply there as well. for Because many times when women need it, they need it right now. And so it's right there for them. Yeah, we go into the shower right over here. And over here, this one, what happens is many people use soaps and everything like that. The soap drips, it goes down on the ground, it makes the soap stay. So all we do here, we keep always a scrubbing brush here. We just scrub this down when we're, uh, uh, when we're on cleaning shift. And basically the idea is to make it look roughly like this. We wipe down the, the uh, walls and counters and neaten up some of the things, um, the condiments and shampoos and everything like that to make sure it looks good. If we see something like this, something that's an old shampoo that looks like it's been left here for a long time, again, it's probably because it has. It's now what we call an abandoned shampoo. What we do with those is we'll take those and we'll put them in this area here, in the laundry area, we put them here. As you're going along this way, you do a cleanup of the toothbrush zone. Uh, again, trying to keep people's personal stuff on the upper levels or in the drawers here. And um, basically wiping down the counters and stuff like that. Part of the cleaning shift is the recycling. At Hedonesia, we try to recycle every category that the government requires of households. Many people, as you know, just throw everything in trash, but we actually try to do what the categories of recycling are. So the way the government's dis um, defined it 
is things that are called H high five glass. Those are things that you drink out of, like beer or soft drinks that are glass. And for those, we get five cents a bottle. We try to organize them in the containers. Paper, we don't get anything for that, but we just flatten it. Many times people put a whole bunch of full containers. We try to flatten things out like this so we can pack more. That way it m makes it much more efficient because where we live in Hawaii, we actually have to take out our own trash and recycling and we have to drive it to a recycling center. So it makes it, it makes more sense to be efficient. When we're organizing and cleaning up the recycling, many people use beer cans and, you know, they try to do basketball, but they miss the containers. So we try to get the thing in the container. So you're organizing things. The mixed glass is things like wine bottles and, let's see, wine bottles and, uh, you, you can hold it. So that's, that, that's things like glass bottles, any broken glass or anything like that we put in the mixed glass. Plastics that are high fives are again things you can drink out of directly. Anything that's food-like or food, um, food plastic with the symbol of one, two, and five in the triangle underneath the plastic, we put it in our plastic um, barrel. And what we try to do is flatten them all to put them in there again to save space. We have a log that we could use to stomp it flat. And that's a nice way of uh, really getting efficient there and uh, conserving space. So that covers the, ca the cans, bottles, plastic. Over here, we have garbage. And really the garbage is actually non-smelling because it's mostly packaging that can't be recycled. We also do recycle compost so that all the organic waste is in another container. So for the most part, as you can see from a trash, there's some things that are packaging and um, we're able to put those in, in the trash. The other last recycling thing we do here, the last two, are the scrap metal, which is over here, and that's anything metallic we put in this container, again, for taking out. And then brown cardboard we use for our agriculture. In the location that we are at, we actually, the cardboard acts as a great weed control. When you're in the jungle, that stuff grows pretty quickly. The cardboard also retains water, so because we have cinder soil in Hawaii, things drain very quickly. But with the cardboard, that holds moisture in, which is really good for plants. So as you can see, we store all our cardboard here. Then we store aluminum because this is one we also get paid for. So the things we actually get a little income for, we try to store those separately. But we also store all the other categories that the government wants. This is the smoking temple. This is also one of the little structures we created to separate Smokers still like to smoke. We do have people who come to Hawaii and they still like the pleasurable cigarette. As you can see, there's sometimes a bit too many of them, but uh, nonetheless, we try to keep it in a zone that's separate from the rest of the facilities around. So it's a, l a little bit far away and allows people to have their cigarette. Now for cleaning and maintenance, the main people who clean the smoking temple are smokers non-smokers do not have to clean the temple. It's um, with the butts, we take the butts and there's no recycling of cigarette butts, so they go straight into the garbage and basically we sweep out the interior here to make it look a little bit, um, just a little bit tidy and stuff like that.